Welcome back everyone to the Chicago Cubs franchise. Thank you to everyone out there that supported me in the decision to take a little bit of time off just to kind of clear the head a little bit, get back full speed, full strength, and ready to go on editing these episodes, man. So it does take a lot out of you. Don't let anybody fool you. Content creation is no easy road to hope. So thank you guys for all of your patience and your kind words about the break. So let's get into the matchup, guys. we got the Cardinals and the Cubbies. We are currently one game up on our rival, the stinking St. Louis Cardinals, man. We gotta, they're, they're just pesky. They're just pesky. we gotta get, we got to get them. we got to get rid of them. Get, get them off our tail a little bit. Starting lineup, you guys can take a look at it. Framil Reyes, of course, a big one in this Cubs lineup. We'll see what he does here against the lefty Steven Matz. going to lift the fly ball. little circle change, low, right down the middle and low. Good spot, good pitch. And he gets out of the inning for us. Eliezer Hernandez was a trade acquisition from season number one from the Miami Marlins. I thought that we got a good deal for him for David Bodie. And so far in this season, you know, last year he had some struggles. But this season he has been pretty good out of the bullpen. We're going to give him a little spot start here in September as we're chasing for an NL Central title. But so far, so good. We've got one down. Brennan Davis able to circle underneath this one. Mondesi's got speed. You got to get behind that, get behind that fly ball. Make a good throw coming into third base. Otherwise, Mondesi will make you pay. So here's Schwindel. Oof, oof. <laughs> got to get a. He needs to take some pop-up lessons, some fly ball lessons out there from Brennan Davis for for certain. But Suzuki out there in right field able to nab this one, and it's a clean first inning for both Steven Matz and Eliezer Hernandez. So let's jump here to the top of the second. We got a man on. First base, that would be, I believe, Patrick Wisdom out there. Yep, so he got a base hit. We got another base hit here for Brennan Davis, and that is going to lead to Christopher Morell, one of our September call-ups. He had made a couple appearances last season, and take a look at perfect, perfect, right over Bader's head, but the animation fooled us. We thought he was going to catch this baseball, and Patrick Wisdom going to get caught Rounding third, headed for home. He must have got the sign late. And Morell's looking at back like, what just happened? Should have, had, should have had a ribby right there. But on further review, just on replay again, just, ah, man, we hit the button too late to get back to third. And Morell gets robbed. I'm sorry, Chris. I'm sorry. Nico Horner comes up with two down, and that's going to cost us the inning. As Dylan Carlson makes the play that Harrison Bader could not out in center field so we got our work cut out for us now this looks like it's going to be a tough tough game here but nick madrigal in the next inning the top of the third base knock good start leadoff man is on base here suzuki going the other way he's now two for two so the top of the order looking nice suzuki that a boy frank schwindel swing and a miss frank the tank can't get into this one and that's one down for the cubbies here in the top of the third now from reyes Ground ball to Arnato, back over to second. Edmund over to first. That's Cornelius Kane, the custom prospect. And there you go, man. So double play there from Mil Reyes. Can't get the job done, but Eliezer able to strike out Dylan Carlson here in the bottom of the third. Still, bottom third. Little base knock here for Mondesi. He's now on twice so far in the early going. Tommy Edmund looks like to be a base knock here, but Christopher Morrell giving good chase. It's off his glove. And Mondesi's going to round third, head for home. Edmund rounding second, heading for third himself. He slides in safely, and Chris Morrell is having kind of a tough time in these last couple innings, man. He got a he got a ribby stolen from him. He got a potential double taken away. Like, man, oh, man. And now this ball just pops right out from his glove, causing a run to score. Man, let's see if he can kind of get retribution here. Well, he does get on base here in the top of the fifth, and that is a good, good start. So Steven Matz. Already, he's only about 40 some pitches right now, so it's not like he, it's not like he's tired out there, but he is losing a little bit of control. And Nick Madrigal, a hanging sweeping curve, that's gone. Tyler O'Neill looking up, and Nick Madrigal, of all people in the lineup, hits a three-run shot. It's three to one, Chicago. Morell and Horner giving him some high fives as he crosses home plate. Look at this, lean back. Boom. See you later. Now the job's easy for Eliezer Hernandez. Protect the two-run lead. Modesty going to strike out. Let's go to bottom six. Edmund, he's going to strike out. Finally, we get this guy out. 
for once. First strikeout here in the sixth inning. Let's see if we can get another one here. Here comes Nolan Arenado. Pop up. Corner. Camping underneath it. He will make the play. There's no way that Nico drops that drops that pop up. No way. 2-2 pitch here to Tyler O'Neill. Oh, what? That's strike three. Come on, Blue. Pitcher's getting tired here. 75th pitch incoming, and that is going to be taken for strike three. Tyler O'Neill wondering, are you going to give me the slider? Blowing away. You're going to give me that call, but not this one? Hmm. Interesting. Hernandez's night is over. Cody Hoyer comes on with a man on second base already. We are in the bottom of the eighth inning, and this man, Tommy Edmond, a guy that we just can't seem to get out. Yes, we had a strikeout on him and another at bat, but he's going to drive in another run. That's going to be 3-2 to two now here at the bottom of the eighth inning, and this is a big, big bat to get. It's Nolan Arenado, but, oh, Edmond's taking off, and Wilson Contreras with the gun. Love it. Now in a 3-2 pitch, Cody Hoyer has got to try to get Arenado. And, oh, it's danger. It's dangerous right now. It's danger zone. What are we going to call here? we got to call a little slider. We're going to get him. The swing and a miss. That's a clutch, clutch job there by Cody Hoyer. Now it's up to Archie Bradley as our offense does not do a dang thing in the top of the ninth. So here we go, bottom ninth inning. Full count here to Tyler O'Neill. Deep fly ball. Somewhat in the gap, but Suzuki and Morrell converging in on it. Suzuki makes the play for the first out of the ninth inning. Let's do it, guys. Jose Breu coming up next. Ground ball, first pitch swing, and Nico Horner near the grass. He's going to take this thing. Oh, <laughs> that's a great throw. That is a great throw. Jose Breu almost beat that out by one step. But now it's Cornelius Kane with that Ken Griffey Jr. stance. How are we going to attack this guy? Archie Bradley got one out left to get. Cornelius Kane does have some power here, so you got to watch out for him. we got to try to be smart here. Wilson Contreras wants the knuckle curve away. Let's see if Bradley can deliver it. Ooh, my goodness. That is not a spot that you want to miss. Archie, it could have been called a strike, too. It was really it's right on that line. Could have gone either way, but Blue doesn't give it to us. But here's a ground ball. Foul. Next pitch up coming, 2-1. Contreras wants the four seam, but we're going to go with circle change. Ooh, this is interesting. We got the good release on it, and that was a very smart pitch there. Cornelius Kane didn't want anything to do with that one. 2-2 pitch. Seems ready. Kane, Bradley, who's going to win this battle here? 2-2, here we go. Fastball high and inside, and Chris Morrell. Catch this, please. He does, and that is your ball game. Cubs. Get the win. It's a big one. It might matter down the stretch here in September. Moving now to two games above the Cardinals in the NL Central. We'll get a little standings update as well. We'll simulate a few games in this series and get to the end of September and see if we're going to make that push for the NL Central. Man, what a game for Nick Madrigal and Suzuki. Both had three hits apiece. The only player to not get a hit today was Frank Schwindel. So, man, I, I feel bad for him. But we get the win. That's all that matters. Archie Bradley, 37 saves here this season. He's been good. And that back into the bullpen. Cardinals got some work to do now. That's a good thing. But that's a really good way to open the series up with a 3-2 win. And that kind of fashion, I love it. We also get another W here over them in game number two of this series, beating them 2-0, shutting them out. We are now three games above the Cardinals here in the NL Central. So Justin Steele also gets the win. He qualified for a quality start as well. Had nine strikeouts, but we do lose this game three to four on September 7th. We'll lose the series against Cincinnati. We get swept. So that is not a good thing to have happen. Cincinnati has not been playing good baseball here in season number two. And, uh, Losing the series against the Pirates. Actually, splitting, actually. So there we go. We got a four-game series here. Win one, lose one, win one, lose one. Baltimore losing a series there. Cincinnati, another four-game set and splitting that series. So we're getting kind of cold here in September a little bit. Now, I'm not really liking that. Four and six in the last ten, and we've now allowed the St. Louis Cardinals to come back on us down by one game. So that last series here... This series against the Brewers, very important. We lose that series, two games to one. Now that sets this series up. 
the final series of the season bleeding into October 1st. What's the standings looking like? We're two games up on them. This is huge. It's a three game set. Two games is the difference between each other. So man, this is gonna be tight. This is gonna be tight. 83 win Cubs, 81 win Cardinals. That will be the next episode guys, as we're gonna see Reed Stein taking on Jack Flaherty. That'll be the next episode and take a look at what happens here in game number one. St. Louis wins on a walk-off. Go figure that. We had six hits on the day. They had nine. But take a look at that box score. I can't really tell. I think it was Jose Abreu that got the walk-off homer. Nobody else had four at-bats. So I think Jose Abreu was the man that uh, that delivered the, the kill shot on our Cubbies. Alec Mills with the loss. One game. One game back. This is important. If we can win this game, if Reed Stein wins this game against Jack Flaherty, we will effectively have won the NL Central over the Cardinals. Whew. A lot of, lot of stressful, stressful things happening here in this series right now. So, guys, leave a like if you like this thing. I will see you in the next one here on Thursday night. Hopefully we can get the W. I'll see you next time, guys. Leave a like if you like this thing. As always, thank you so much for watching, and peace.